everybody and welcome to One Player. Today we're on the road, we're in Alexandria, and we're building a new suburb in Welcome 2. Now, I'll tell you this, I've had some trouble with my camera, I did just play an entire game of Ascension. This was the score. <laughs> but So hopefully this, um, but no sound was coming out, so I've had to scrap it. Hopefully this one works better and I'll get this on. Um, and I'll get the Ascension video back on the channel, uh, maybe after my next playthrough or something. But this is uh, day one, I suppose, of um, of travel, and day one of our road trip extravaganza. No, it's not a road trip; it's just I flew here. Um, anyway, we're playing Welcome to. So let's uh, let me let's get started. I've done I've done most of the rules, you know, in my previous playthrough. So let, let's just let's just get going. We're aiming for this. We're aiming for that, we're aiming for this. We need to build all the streets on this top, or all, all the houses on this top street. We want to build an estate of three and an estate of six, an estate of two, three, and five to complete these contractor cards. And then, of course, we're aiming for parks, pools, um, estates, and uh, contractors. We're going to draw three cards, and we're going to choose the effect from one and the number from another and then discard the third one. So hopefully you can see all of those three there. Again, I've got my wide angle lens on so I can capture the entire wonderful experience. And well, let's get started. So we need to do this. I mean, so why don't we just, why don't we just start with number two? Let's just open up number two uh, right here. And then should we do a park or shall we do, or should, or should we start our estate? Hmm. Let's 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 start an estate. Yeah? Yeah, why not? Let's get it going. So we're gonna put a nice fence in there, and that's gonna get us this two estate when we um, when we fill that in. Next three cards. Easy enough, remember this? Yeah, simple. i actually I didn't bring the rule book, I just took a photo of the solo rule page just in case I forgot anything, but it's pretty straightforward, I think. So we're just gonna We'll just wing it. We'll just play it by ear, see what happens. Um, all right, we've got two. I'd like to put, th mm, I'd like to put a five maybe here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put five here. That gives us three or four in this house and then we can put a pool um, around it and we'll score for that pool. Whoop, like that. And Oh, you didn't see that, but that's three points. So we've got three points on our pool score. And we're well on our way to filling up the street. Now, as you can see, I'm I'm choosing one number, and then the the little corners actually tell us um, what the back side is, what the effect is, um, so we don't have to f keep flipping between them, which is nice. I do have a four, so that's I'm going to take advantage of that. Yep. And then we're going to use a park because that's our only choices. So we're going to do going to score two points for our parks too. This is looking like a lovely street up here. Hopefully we can get all of them filled in. 13, hmm. Now, can't really use a one because I don't want to start another street just yet. I could use a nine and then put another fence in or I could use a nine and then maybe upgrade my threes here because I'm going to probably be doing at least two threes. So it could be worth it. Um, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So if we put 6, 7, 8, 9, if we put 9 here, then we'd have 3 to put in this 2, and then 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We'd have 6 to put in this 4, so I think that's a pretty good ratio. Let's do 9 here, and then should we do a fence, or should we up our value? I don't want to get stuck without the fences. Yeah, let's just do the fence. This, this, you know what? That's the last fence we need on this street. So that's, we'll get it out of the way. So now we've got a two estate, a three estate, and a five estate. We just need to fill them with houses. Another fence, okay, another fence, and another pool. Hopefully we've got something, mm, that's not that great. Um, I suppose we could do a one and a pool and just fill this one in and just get it started, couldn't we? Because I'm not gonna put a 15 here. I don't need another fence anywhere, really. I mean, it's going to be very premature to put a fence in for this six estate down here somewhere. So why don't we just do... Why don't we do a one and a pool, and then we'll score another three points for that. 
So we're filling out that pool, we are scribbling out the points, and we are currently on a pool score of six. This, is, this table's got a little ridge right here, so I can't drag the cards off. I'm just going to send a letter to the manager. Um, here we go. We've got a seven, which is good. Um, now then, what do we bet? Are we betting that we oh, we could even fill it in with a biz as well, couldn't we? We could do seven and seven biz, although I'd, you're going to start scoring negative points so early. I'm not sure that I want to do that. I could score seven. What's more likely, an eight or a nine? I think an eight is more likely because it's right in the middle. I think that's right. That sounds right. So if I do seven here... And then let's raise the value of our three estates to, to four points. And that way, once we, once we construct those, we'll be scoring more points for them. Yes. We're steaming ahead. Alexandria is coming together. And we've got an eight. Oh, that's, that's brilliant. Look at that. Not bad at all. So we've got an eight there. Um, should we up our three estates again? I mean, I don't see why not. If we do two three estates, that's going to be 10 points. And if we do one, if I improve a six, then I'm going to get seven or... Yeah, it's, it's worth it, isn't it? It's worth doing the three again. Okay, cool. So we did... What did we do? An eight and an upgrade. Yeah, that works. Da -da -da -da. That's my singing a song, a construction song. This seems to be going strangely well. Hmm... 9, 8, or 11. Well, we can put an 11 here, can't we? Um, we'd have to upgrade again, which is fine. I mean, I know we do miss out on a pool. I do want to start getting some more park points, but you know what? That's fine. So if I put 11 here, that's 12, 13, 14, 15. Or if I put 11 here, we need a definite 10. And we've got more chance here of getting 12, 13, 14, 15. There's definitely more 10s than there are 13s, 14s. I don't know, total. Ooh, decisions. Tricky, tricky decisions. I don't really want to be waiting on one number 10. I'm going to do it. Uh, we're going to do an 11 there, and we're going to do... Should we put another fence down? Yeah, let's put another fence down. I don't know. Let's put a fence down here. Then we're, we're, we're cordoning this off for that three on plan number two. So, uh, word to the uninformed, what we're doing here, if you're just like, what, what, are, you even, what are you even doing? You know, I've, I've, I've clicked on this video by accident and I've no clue what's going on. What I'm doing is currently building <laughs> building fences and writing house numbers on to create estates. Um, so, we're picking a number and then a, an effect um, from two of these three cards um, each round. The fences um, enable us to build estates, which we score points for based on these plan cards, but also based on uh, the end of the game where we get to tot up all of the amount of estates of that uh, amount of houses we have. I'm also building pools to score points. I'm building parks to score points. So uh, on the top of every of these streets, there's little... Um, Every turn we build a park, we score more points for the for the street as a whole. We're also increasing the value of those estates, and we're, we're ostensibly hiring contractors to help us. If we if we do less of less than six of these though in the game, then we don't get any points. So I'm kind of like, mm, I don't know. I don't want. I don't know if I want to waste six whole turns. You know, on on just trying to do this. I'm not sure. I, I haven't before, and so I guess I'm not changing my tactics now. Um, so this is a bit tricky because we've got six, seven, eight. That's like all the middle numbers, and we're not really sure where to put those yet. We've got two. Th so, and, and I should say that, of course, uh, based on the rules, we have to do numbers increasing in value from left to right. Um, the only time we can't do that is if we build a roundabout, but. We're not going to get into that right now because you, you lose points if you're around about. And um, what else? And the only other thing we can do is put a biz. It's called a BIS, um, which is apparently a French term. I learned about this um, after my last playthrough, after my last video. Um, it's a French term that means like 
a little bit next door. That's the exact translation. So we can put a biz in, and for example, this could be one biz, and uh, we wouldn't have to do one, two, or one, three, or one, four. We could just do another one and a BIS. But we lose points for that too, because it does give us a bit of extra convenience. I'm stalling because I don't know what to do on this turn. We've got two, three, four, five, six. I mean, we could put the six like smack bang in the middle here, but that seems like a pretty bad idea. We could also do the seven or the eight here. That would give us nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. I think eight, no, I think seven might go pretty well here. Two, three, four, five. That gives us a little bit of leeway in these four houses and then plenty of leeway on the other side. So let's do a seven here and then, um, I, mean, I guess, should we up the value of something again? Should we up the value of our three estates all the way to the max? I mean, why the heck not, I suppose? Um, there we go. We're done. That's the turn and the rules all explained all at once. Not bad, if you ask me. Hmm. Interesting times ahead. We have a five and two eights, two fences and a park. I am tempted just to put the eight in here and say... Let's just be done with it. So if you put an eight in there, we get to scribble off a park, and at least we're scoring two. It's not a massive amount of points, but you know what? That's just gonna have to do. And then somewhere in the lower half of this deck of cards that I'm pulling from is a card that's gonna tell us that we're not gonna score this big uh, number on each of these plans. We're only gonna score the smaller number. So we need to try to uh, win these before that card comes up. So that's why I'm like really trying to, f I was trying to fill this out so fast um, and neglecting the other streets. So that's that's my reasoning there. We've got a nine, we've got another nine, and we've got a five. Um, you know what? This might be the perfect time to use that contractor because I did forget this rule until right now. If you do use a contractor, you can plus or minus, I think it's one, either side of the number. So if I use this nine and a contractor, um, then I can put my I can put a 10 here so I can plus one to the nine add a 10 yeah I forgot that totally that's why the contractors are good okay yeah I I remember now uh, yeah okay so that's what we're gonna do there um, in in the aim up oh, of course you would pull a 10 of course you would bloody hell um, <laughs> all right fine 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 what are we doing now? Um, three, maybe? Three here? Or three there? Three here, I think. Three, four, five, six. I mean, that's the easiest. And then, but then what? It can't have a pool. Um, so if we do three, I suppose we could do ten in a pool. That would be half decent. Ten here in a pool. Yeah, well, let's do ten in a pool. Come on, let's live a little. 10 and a pool, yeah, woo. 10, we're now scoring nine points for our pools, so that you know feels decent, I guess. And three more cards, please. Let's see, we've got an 11, oh, a 14. Okay, that 14's gotta go there, hasn't it? Yeah, 14's gotta go right at the end. I want that park, I do want the park points, but on all honesty, I think we're just gonna have to we're just going to have to live without it for now. Um, what's the, it needs a six here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to do this. If we do a fence, we'll do this here. Let's do a fence. It's 14 and a fence. We can put the fence anywhere, um, so we don't have to put it on the same street. With the parks, you have to cross off the parks on the same street. And with the pools, you have to cross off on the pool on the same house. Um, but the, the fences, you can just go anywhere, pretty much. So we've got a three and a six, and now a two as well, which hopefully maybe we can, I don't know, score some extra points for later. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. And then this bottom street's just kind of, it's wide open, you know? Who knows what's going to happen down there? We haven't even we haven't even really thought about it yet. We've got a four, we've got a seven, and we've got a six. <sighs> okay. Um... I suppose I could, no, I can't. I could do, no, I can't do that. Seven BIS, I could do a six. Okay, I think this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a six and then a BIS, or biz, or whatever it's called. So we do a six here, and then a, an 11 BIS here, then we will complete 
these two, and then we can start. It, was, it loses one point, but that's I think is better than the risk of losing for it lose the risk of losing ten points if the card comes up and allows us or doesn't allow us to do this. Obviously, the next thing that's going to happen is I'm going to pull a twelve or a thirteen out of the deck, but you know that's the risk we're going to take. So we're going to do six. We're going to use our BIS. We do eleven BIS. We cross off one, so we're going to lose one point. Um, but you know what? That is worth it because now we've scored this estate, we've scored this estate, and we've scored this estate. And we can't use those towards any other plans, but what we can do is flip these over to show that we've done. So we're actually going to score, well, I suppose we can actually write this in, can't we? Eight in the number two box and 13 in the number three box. That seems pretty easy for a 13. Oh, wait. Shoot, I did it wrong. No, incorrect. Let me not do that. That's I didn't do this one, I did this one. So this is six, and this is TBD. So I'll, I'll, I'll just leave it, because <laughs> I'm going to be optimistic. Yeah, I'll be optimistic. We're going to We're gonna get this one. We'll get this one too. Before the card comes up? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, mate. All right, so we've done two of the plans, which feels pretty good. We've got a 10, we've got a 15. Ooh, that would have been a, tr oh, yeah, there it is. Told you, 13. Didn't need to use that biz after all, but we did, and so that's just how the cookie crumbles on occasion. Mm -hmm. I'm tempted to put the 13 here. It does leave us with this two, probably not gonna be filled with a 14 and a 15, like that's pretty tricky to get. But if I put 13 here and then I have to wait for another 11 or 12, then I'm like, I'm going to be kind of, I want this, I want these points, you know? 13. And let's, let's, let's bump up our sixes. We're going to have a six estate here, aren't we? So we can either score seven points for it or I can score, or I can score a guaranteed six points for this. Um, although I've only got one more house to do, so yeah, let's just do this. We'll do that. So that was what a thirteen and an upgrade. Yeah, that was that was a legal turn. You just got to check, you know, right at the end. You got to check. Twelve. Okay, that would have been really good there. For goodness sake, my luck is absolutely terrible. Every time I take a risk, then it just gets immediately punished by the by the <laughs> by the cards. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If I put a 12 and a pool in there, it's going to mean that I've got to be very, very accurate with this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and a pool there would be probably even worse. But then a six in a pool is like completely useless everywhere. So that's not even going to be a thing. So maybe this has to be a seven in a pool? Or is this the 12 in the pool? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I've really got two chances. Two chances to mess it up. And this is where I've got no chances to mess it up on this. So I said, I don't know. I never know how to do this. I never had know how to predict it. I mean, all the plans that in this game just go immediately out the window. But we're scoring four points per pool now, so that is pretty cool. So now we're on 13 points for the pool, um, up from nine. Wait, we've got a five. That's fantastic. We don't get a pool to put in there, unfortunately. Um, and I would, now I kind of would like to use this contractor, but... Ooh, I don't know. It's not really worth it, is it? I mean, I guess I could just put a fence in and see if I can score some more points for some estates. So why don't I do this? I'm going to put a five here, a fence here, and that will create as a nice uh, three-house estate, um, hopefully of, you know, 11 and 14 or 15, doesn't matter. Or 13, you know, I'm not, I'm not discriminating. Here we go. Five and a fence... We've got a 10, a t another 12, and another 5. That's interesting. Um, uh, huh. Okay. Uh, what do we do now? 
10 here or 10 there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We've got to put the 10 here, haven't we? Even though waiting for an 11 seems foolhardy, um, if I put a 10 here, I've got to get 1 through 9 exactly, and I think the chances of that are pretty slim. So 10's going to go here, and then what are we going to do? We're going to do a park. Let's do a park. We'll score some points for a park. I kind of... Maybe I want to do a fence. I don't know. Well, I've already scribbled it out now. Like, if I do another fence and get another three-house estate, I mean, we're scoring six points for every three-house estate, which is pretty good. Uh, I don't know. There's plenty of fences in the season. Though. That's the that's the saying. We've got a two. And we've got another five. And we've got another nine. Ooh, okay. All right. All right. I see you. I see you. Let's, let's think about this strategically. I can put a two in here, and that would be nice. I'd get an, I'd get some extra park points, and I'd be closer to filling up my thing. A nine is really helpful because it goes there, but then probably there's lots more nines than there is of twos, because the, the, there's, a, there's a very nice bell curve to it where, you know, you've got ones and fifteens are like, there's two of them in the deck, and then like eights and nines are the most common, I think, like, like that, can I, like seven, eights, nines are the most common. So I think we could probably risk a nine and put a two here. And then we'll just we'll check off a park. Now we're scoring four points. It's done. Easy. Easy. What have we got here? A four. That's perfect. Yes. So is that 14, though, even. Because um, the 14 could go here or here. Um, we can't turn down the four, though, can we? And another park. Yeah four and a park and then we've completed this as well look three one estate here of three and one estate here of six and that means we are in fact even though i filled it out prematurely we are in fact scoring eight points for contract number two or plan number two i can't remember what they're called city plans or contracts i don't know anyway so these are all done we've done them all look at that all set all done completed maximum points gained um, and wait, do we, oh yeah, we got a park. Yeah, that's right. So we've got four in a park. And now we've, we've pretty much, we've got these first two streets done. So now we're just really looking for the, we're hoping for the luck to be on our side. Oh, look at that. It's the solo card. So that means that this turn, we would have had to turn these over and I would have only scored four points for it. So actually our luck is paying off this turn. Not bad at all. Nine, a 12 and a 15. I'm more tempted to put the 15 here just because this isn't this is only gonna score us two points, but this will score us six if we get all of them. So I think 15 and maybe a park. 15 in this park. And then we're scoring four points for parks down here. I mean it's not huge. I'd like to get one more park on this row. Because then we get 14 points. I uh, don't know if you can. Yeah, there you go. And this is it's like immediately blurry over here and then just clear here. Yeah, so if I get one more park on this street, we'll get 14 points of parks. That's pretty good. Two more parks on here. Oh, no, I can't because, yep, yeah, okay, we've already fought it. So one more park on here. That's the goal. Three more parks on here should also be probably doable, but we'll see what point, what, what cards we get dealt, you know. We've got a nine. We've got another nine. We've got a two. Well, a nine in a park sounds pretty good to me. So a nine here, and another park, and that sounds pretty decent. This whole plan's coming together. If we can fence off another six, that'll give us two sixes and one, two, three, four threes. And that'll be pretty decent on the old points tally, I think. We're running out of cards though, so you know, no no time like the present. Oof, an 11. Well, that's perfect. Can't really say more than that, can you? Just perfect. It's not a pool, so we're gonna have to go with a fence. Now then, do we, do we, oh, this is the trick, isn't it? Well, I suppose if we, let's just, 
it's the same, isn't it? Really. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So if I, if, <laughs> so if I if I fence it here, I've got a six there and a three here. But if I fence it here, then I'm I'm definitely more likely to get this three, and then we'll see if we can get that six just as well. So let's put a fence there. That's my reasoning. I think it was pretty solid. Got an 11 and a fence. And we are just dividing up this, this wonderful new city like an absolute champion. Um, that's less good. Now we could put a three I mean, we could put a three here, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, no, we can't. We could put a three here or here. Three, four, five, six, seven. If we put a three here, hmm. I can't remember. Is is the contract a plus one or is it pl is it plus or mi plus or minus one or is it plus or minus two? If it's plus or minus two, I could put an eight here and that would be perfect. I can't remember the rules though. Crap. Um, uh, I'm probably gonna sc probably gonna screw myself over by doing this, but I'm, I'm not gonna play it just in case that's not the rule. I can't remember if it's plus or minus one or plus or minus two. Uh, shoot. All right, well, let's just put a three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, okay, let's put a three here. Mm. This feels bad. I guess I could do a BIS, but then I'm losing three points. What's the, you know, what's. Is there any good in that, really? Mm, yeah, I don't know. Let's just put a three here. How many rounds have we got left? One, two, three, four, five, six. We've literally got three rounds left. So I'm, I'm just basically I'm hoping that we get a four, five, six, or a, a four, five, six, seven, eight in our next round, or in the next three rounds, which I think is pretty likely to fill up this one. Uh, yeah, whatever. Let's just let's just do it. Um, you know what, I think though, I'm not gonna gamble on the sixes anymore, and I'm gonna gamble, or I'm gonna go for this five, because we've already got a five, so we'll just score six points for it. Yeah, okay, whew, that was a bit of a, a bit of a mind boggler, wasn't it? Probably not, um, probably not indeed. Six, seven, and a 10. All right, well, you know what? I'll take you up on this. I don't need any fences anyway, so if I do a seven plus this contractor plus the one, which I know is definitely legal. Then I've got an eight here. I've got another contract to use, which isn't gonna score me any points, but at least it'll be something and I can put the eight in there. And then we've scored some more three estates. Now, if I can, well, there's no way, is there? No, I can't, unless I use a lot of BISs <laughs> and I can fill that in. Um, unless I use a lot of BISs and fill it in, but I don't think that's gonna be a good idea. Um, all right, we've got seven. Seven and eight and another three. Mm. Well, there's only one choice, isn't there, really? And it's going to also force me to use a BIS. So that's a bit frustrating. Um, however, that's fine because... Yeah, that's fine. Because I'm going to put a seven here. I put a seven BIS here, and that way I'm gonna scratch off this. Hopefully, if I get a four, five, or a six in the last turn, we can fill this in. Uh, and a fence. <laughs> oh no! All right, let's see. I don't know. That may. That's gonna be. That's pushing it, isn't it? It's pushing the lock. And there's definitely no fences in here. So crap. We did get a four. So that's cool. And a park, so that's good as well, right? Yeah, four and a park, four and a park, and that is game over. We we didn't quite manage to sneak this, and we didn't do anything with our two estate on the end. But I think you know what? To be honest, it's not a bad round. We didn't have any times where we couldn't place anything. We used two bizzes, and that's whatever. That's okay. 
Let's add up our points, shall we? 8 plus 13 is 21, plus 6 is 27. We've got 2 points for parks up here. We've got 6 points for parks on here and 8 points for parks on here. So not the best park um, not the best park return, but that's, that's okay too. We've got 13 points for pools, so that's pretty decent. No points for this. We don't have any estates of one. We've got one estate of two that's full, right? That's one, so that's times one is two points. Three estates, we've got one, two, three, four, times six. So we've got 24 points for that. That's pretty decent. We've got zero four estates. We've got one five estate, so that is worth six points. And then we've got one six estate because we did this one. Yeah, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, yeah, one. We were gonna get this, we we're gonna try and get this one, but we didn't. So one, um, that is seven points. So what's that? Two, 26, 26 plus six is uh, 32, <laughs> 39, minus three points. Uh, can, should I write my hand again? I mean, I, I, don't, I don't have any much space. Um, let's see. What do we say for this? 39. Um, did I do that right? 24 plus, yeah, 39. Oh, yeah, I could have just, yeah, right. 27 plus 13 is 30, 40, 56. 56 plus 39 is, I don't, I don't know, you do it yourself. 5, 8, 95 minus 3 is 92. Honestly, I don't remember what my last score was, but I think it might have been 92. So Alexandria is a resounding average success, I think. Look at that. Pretty decent. We filled in, well, only one complete street. But you know what? You know, I feel okay about this one. I feel pretty good. That's going to be it from me. Uh, another welcome to maybe coming later this week. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if we're going to prove on 92. Maybe we'll do Alexandria or Virginia versus... Washington DC, um, the, the centuries old rivalry. At least that's what I imagine. I don't really know if that's true. Um, that, uh, yeah, don't forget to drop a like, leave me a comment, um, let me know which other games in my arsenal you would like to see on the hotel desk this week, and I will do my best to get it to the table. Um, hopefully, I'll have that Ascension recording um, or re recorded back up soon as well. Thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget to hit subscribe and well, I will see you later.